Hey everybody, it's Mark Edward Lewis with Cinema Sound. Today we're going to be talking about how to do recordings in really reflective rooms. And the answer is don't do them. And if you must, just budget for the fact that you're going to be in ADR. You're going to be replacing all that dialogue. No matter how good the microphone is, it's going to hurt. It's just not going to be what you want. For a professional Hollywood-level audience impact and immersion, it's just not going to work. So we're going to test some microphones. We're going to test the Ceremonic TM7, Ceremonic TM1, the V-Mic Pro, the V-Mic for the on-camera. We're going to test the iPhone for those of you who just use that built-in microphone. And we're going to test the Rode IXY, uh, which is the stereo uh, plug-in lightning port, and see in a really reverberous environment what we get. Let's roll. Well, we're in one of the studio bathrooms here. And uh, just like we did on the Adobe Audition onboarding videos, this is what it sounds like in a really reverberous environment. Right now, I'm recording on my iPhone 7 Plus just on the built-in microphone in mono. I mean, it's pretty useless in here. This is also a really reflective room with a huge mirror and tile and parallel walls tile on the ground. So this is a horrible place for good audio to happen. And if you were doing professional audio here, you'd be in ADR. And this is what it sounds like with the Rode IXY attached to the phone that we're using. And you can hear, even though it's in stereo, it's still just an incredibly wide stereo, roomy noise that if you had to do any professional audio in here, you'd be in ADR. And here we are with an on-camera microphone. This is the Ceramonic V-Mic Pro, and it has a, a much larger, fuller, richer sound than the regular V-Mic, although it has exactly the same functionality. Um, and it's doing a pretty good job of rejecting what's happening, but even at this six foot distance that I am from the iPhone, uh, the camera, you can tell that an on-camera mic is um, going to have its own issues, even though it's a hypercardia with a very, very narrow polar pattern. So uh, consider that if you're in a reverberous room, even if you've got a really expensive on-camera microphone, it's still going to have some issues with picking up the, the room noise because you know my voice is in here bouncing all around and still coming to the microphone later from all the reflections in the room, even though it's doing a good job of reflecting it from the sides. Now here's the V-Mic from Ceremonic and it has a very different sound and handles rejection very differently. It has a completely different microphone system. It's an on-camera microphone and um, even though it's a hypercardioid, it does a really good job of picking up subjects in a quiet room that are non-reflective. You can see even it is having difficulty in a you know really reflective, really bad situation like any microphone would. But it's doing a pretty good job. And for the money, this V-Mic does uh, better than most in its class. And here we are with the Ceramonic TM1, which is a super cardioid microphone. It does a pretty good job of rejecting what's going on in the sides. And this is, again, a horrible place to have to uh, do any recording, but it does a better job of picking me up than just the random microphones that might be on your camera. Now this is the granddaddy of the Ceremonic lineup. This is the TM7, which is their, what I call the rifle microphone, about the narrowest microphone that they have. And it's gonna do the best job of just about any hypercardioid or ultracardioid that you can imagine and even it struggles with the roominess of this room. Does a really, really good job of picking me up, and if I get really close, it actually makes it sound fantastic. You still hear the reverb of the room, but at this range, which is about a foot, um, you know, it's, it's pretty good. But to get any distance at all, you've got this room just penetrating. So what you end up with, even with the best microphones in the world, is ADR. Some pretty strong results, right? I mean, this is decisive. If you want a really great sound, obviously don't do it in a re reflective room, but if you have to be there, having an honest to goodness shotgun microphone pointed at your actor is always gonna be the best plan, even over an on-camera, a really great microphone like the V-Mic series or any on-camera microphone because that hyper or super or ultra cardioid shotgun microphone is its entire raison d'etre is to reject everything it can and only get you. 
So if you have the money, if you've already got an on-camera mic or whatever, to get yourself a shotgun microphone, man, you really, really should invest in it. Because that's this is in a worst-case environment. Imagine it in a great environment, how much, how much beauty that r- will make and how much easier it will be for you to create a Hollywood-level uh, uh, recording and mix in post. We have on the cinemasound.com website all of these microphones in a beautiful archive that you can audition. We've got um, piano and sound effects and dialogue and off-axis recordings. So you can just listen A, B, C, D to hundreds and hundreds of microphones if you're in the market and see which one brings you the best sound. And then obviously come on the cinemasound.com blog or on our Facebook group and find out which one brings you the best value. We've reviewed most most of these. So thanks very much. Definitely subscribe to this channel right now so that you can get more of these videos. We've got tons of them and tons more on the way. Until then, we'll see you on set. Even if you're for yourself.